Hey there, hi there, ho there. Good morning. How are you? Mmm, coffee. It's uh, 7 a.m. almost here in the east, and um, uh, I woke up and was you know, going through my email, which you just heard, and all that good stuff, and uh, this. <laughs> 216 subscribers. Um, if I look at the analytics right now, at this moment in time, um, I am absolutely uh, blown away. 949 hours of watch time. Uh, in 28 days, we've shot up 203 subscribers, uh, 7,000 views of the material that I've been putting up. Um, thank you. Just, just thank you. Um, it's, it's, it's an overwhelming thing and I will explain why. First of all, thank you. And I'm no fool. I know Mr. Welch and now Rex and Matt Forbeck and Jeff Grubb have all contributed through their presence and their participation to growing these numbers, um, which is just amazing. Uh, so I thank them and I can't wait for more of these roundtable discussions and crazy ideas I have and all that sort of stuff. But this channel's been active for a month and it's just been the response has been so overwhelmingly positive uh it's humbling in a really big way something else that's happened is um seeing all the people who've reached out to me commented here on facebook spoke to me on i sorry commented here on youtube spoke to me on facebook reddit not so much but i think i'm a little old for reddit uh <laughs> i think i'm i'm a little too you know, a few years behind the Reddit algorithm. Though I've met some really, really awesome people on Reddit, so I can't say anything bad about that. And I've now met some wonderful people on Discord who've been trying to help as much as they can as well. Uh, and I really feel like I'm part of a community. But what matters more than anything are the people who have said to me, please do heroic or pursue heroic or I'd rather support you doing heroic than worry about what some big corporation like Marvel and Disney are doing. And that just blew me away. Last night, after my D&D game, I spent the night going through my writings, um, and I had said that I had written four superhero games that would never be published. I was wrong. That number was wrong. I, I've written six. <laughs> six. Wait, six. Six? Six. Six. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've written six. Uh, I thought it was four. It was six. And then there's a bunch of fantasy stuff. And, I, and all of that took me down a road where I wrote those games at a time when the only people reading them were some close friends in my game, my group, my group, my gaming group. Now there's this larger community, these larger voices that can really hopefully take a look at some of this stuff and really give me feedback. So I'm very much interested in, in working on the heroic game again and very much interested in bringing it to you as a play test or as a, as a cheap document or whatever it's going to be in the end uh, because there's something there. And, and you know what, you guys, you'll let me know. You'll let me know if it's worth the time or not. I have no doubts about that based on the way this community is. And this community is amazing and I'm so proud and honored to be a part of it. Um, when I became an actor, my father told me, get a backup career. So I chose radio. When I began working in radio, my father said, be prepared for hard times. And that's the way my life went. When I started producing comics, after I published my first comic, uh, my father said, you know, good job. Keep working. What I didn't know until after he passed away was how proud he had been of me. Now, as an actor, before he had passed, my mother had told me what was going on, because mothers will tell you, especially mine, 
the truth, good, bad, and different. After he passed away, his sister, my aunt, told me how he talked about the comic, and then I found out how he felt about me being in radio. Now, my father was the kind of man who could never tell you that to your face. He could never tell me that he was proud of what I did. But my female family members could, and they did. And sadly, the older I get, the, the less of them are left. Um, and I've begun feeling this past year like I was, especially with COVID, the last two years, really, I've felt in an echo chamber. And it's hard to accept praise from your friends because you mentally think they're your friends, they're going to say nice things. Even though some of my friends can be pretty brutal, and that's why I love them, um, you accept that, you know, you don't, you don't take it the same way as strangers who have no emotional skin in the game. So as I see strangers more and more talking to me and more and more reaching out and more and more being supportive and wanting to see what I do and, and encouraging me through subscribing, through liking, through commenting, through doing all the things you've been doing, and yeah, there's been a few... But that's expected, and I'm okay with that. Um, it's really heartwarming. It's really humbling, and it's really encouraging. Uh, we have about a 95% like ratio on this channel to dislikes, which is wow. Um, and when I was a, a, an adult learning specialist, uh, I would get, you know, 92.3% student satisfaction rates and my corporate bosses would be like, well, we're seeing a worrying trend here of 7.7% dislike. And I'm like, what planet are you on where 7.7% dislike or unhappy or neutral reaction is a bad thing? Shouldn't we be focusing on the 92.3 that really, really like it? And they couldn't see that because they, it was a worrying trend in their analytics. Well, I don't see that 95% overall channel like as a worrying trend at all. I see it as encouragement, I see it as enthusiasm, and I see it as a genuine blessing. So my mother is no longer with us. She hasn't been since 2009, and yesterday was Mother's Day. But I kind of wish she could see this, just so she could be there to keep me, you know, honest and tell me and remind me like she did when she saw my acting. You're not acting, you're just being yourself. She didn't realize she was giving me the greatest compliment an actor could ever get. Well, I'm pretty sure in this case she'd say, you're not doing anything special, you're just talking. Great. So there will be more to come. Um, there will be some more Marvel stuff uh, for sure. Uh, there will be heroic RPG stuff coming. There will be more roundtables, and who knows wherever else this is going to go. But this morning, on this Monday, about an hour and a half before I start work, having my coffee, taking in the world, I just wanted to say to all of you, thank you. You've made my day. Okay. I have my coffee. Going to keep doing what I do. Might be back tonight for a video. I don't know yet. My friend's moving out of town, so she and I are getting together after work to chill out. So I might not do a video tonight, but tomorrow for sure in this video. So it looks like my daily videos will continue. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Be good. And thank you. Peace. Love. Geek. Blown away. <laughs>